Lee works in the Office of Research at University X. The Vice Chancellor of Research wants to understand their current placement in the rankings and turns to Lee to investigate. She wants him to both analyze what are the key contributors to university rankings and develop a plan to help the university be shown in its best light. To tackle this project, Lee first needs some background information about rankings so he can determine which rankings to prioritize. With over 20 global university ranking reports or organizations alone, and each with its own methodology, data sources, and set of indicators, Lee needs to zero in on which align best with his university's focus and priorities. He decides to focus on THE and QS World University Rankings. They are both prominent ranking organizations and internationally known. Lee also knows they both use Scopus as a data source. As University X subscribes to Scopus, Lee sees this as an advantage, his way to get a better understanding of the data behind the two ranking reports. To help him focus on which data and information to investigate, he puts together a list of key considerations and parameters he needs to know about the methodologies. He then goes to Scopus and searches for University X. He finds the university's affiliation profile page and scans through it, getting an overview of the research and researchers affiliated with University X. To see the documents linked to the university, he opens the page and wanting to get a deeper look, he clicks on Analyze Search Results. He notices the different ways he can look at the data and also sees that he can specify by date range. This can help him filter the results by the same or similar parameters that THE and QS follow. He returns to the affiliation profile and opens the affiliation hierarchy. This shows him how the affiliations are mapped to the university along with their associated research. Lee is impressed with both the level of granularity and the organization in the mapping. This is also one reason ranking organizations choose Scopus, for the quality and structured data it provides. Scopus achieves this in its organizational profiles through a combination of a state-of-the-art system that automatically tags and links off their affiliations, a high-quality, manually curated organization database, and by incorporating feedback from universities themselves through the Institution Profile Wizard, or IPW. For Lee, the affiliation looks close to perfect although he sees a few changes to make. To do this, Lee uses the Scopus Institution Profile Wizard. As an authorized user with knowledge of the institution, he can manually review alternate names and make sure profiles are correct, complete, and organized appropriately. The ability to validate and work with the Scopus team reassures Lee about the data behind the rankings. As he gets further along, Lee decides to put together a small group from across the university. He presents his findings to the group to bring a common understanding about the university's research output and what is currently being counted. He wants to make sure that the research across the university is represented correctly. This group decides to establish a long-term, proactive plan that will help maintain the university's research output data accuracy. This includes working with researchers to make sure profiles are accurately and correctly affiliated with the university. For example, having researchers regularly review their author profiles in Scopus and use the Profile Wizard to submit corrections as needed. This includes instances where they may have published under a former last name or used a different name variation, and allows them to ensure no research is missed in their profile 
or incorrectly affiliated with a different institution. Not only is this good for the institution, but it is also important for the researcher. With better alignment and understanding of Scopus data, Lee now has a clearer picture of the research affiliated with the university. Lee now decides to take his work a step further, digging deeper into how the university is doing in collaboration and what research areas are of particular strength for the university or ripe for opportunity. He also wants to look at other institutions and identify ones to benchmark against. For all of this, he uses SciVal, adding further insights and analysis to provide in his report. Not only do Scopus and SciVal bring clarity to the whole of the university's research, but it also provides a more granular understanding of the data going into the rankings, data and insights that he can draw on now to help shape the universities in the future. Now, when the next ranking reports are announced, Lee is not surprised by where the university is placed, and neither is the Vice Chancellor of Research. The quality of Scopus data, the power of SciVal Analytics, working together to inform strategic decisions and provide insightful views into research across the globe.